Good evening, Builder News. I'm Breck. This is Builder News. What is going on with my Loom? There we go. Where we try things, we record them, we put them online. We want to help builders who are building things on the web. Here we go. We're checking out Code MIA. Code MIA. Code MIA. IO. Master System Design Interviews through active practice. Passively learning. Passively learning system design. Passive learning system? Passively. Now you can practice system design problems like the way you practice data structure and algorithms on the code. Um, pick a problem, write down your solution, and receive AI driven feedback or eval. Share a solution for further feedback. Repeat. Better way, way to prepare. Okay, so it's a code MIA prepares you system design interviews. I don't know what a system de design interview is. <clears throat> but nice little comparison chart. Um, used by tech pros to find the dream job. We got some um, copyright. Gross. Oh, 2022. Got to update that. Um, practice now. Let's give it a shot. See what we're talking about here. Easy, hard, advanced. <sighs> Come on, we're going to go to the most advanced. That's the hardest thing. Oh, you have to go in order. That's kind of neat. Design Dropbox. Sure, let's design Dropbox. Okay, welcome to the practice session. Please log in or sign up to start the session. Um, all right, so... Sorry, maybe I gotta do it over here. What's this here? System design problems. Oh wait, object oriented design. Oh, so there's a lot of modules or something. But we can't quit. We were on Dropbox. Design Dropbox. Let's see, evaluate, get feedback, drag and drop. Diagram level. Here's an ER diagram. Customer delivery address. Hmm. Interesting. Product invoice. So. And then you've got some type of. What language is this? Is this. Let's, let's find out what language this is. Uh, we'll probably want to use graph languages. Like. Uh, what do we call them? Diagram langs? I bet. I bet it's going to be one of these ones, but we'll see. What lang is this? Is it dot? Mermaid, that's what that was. Of course, mermaid. Yeah. Of course. That was the one I was trying to think of. Let's get some mermaid diagrams. What is ER? I don't know what that means. Class diagram. I don't know what this has to do with Dropbox, but. Sequence diagram. Is this still mermaid? Or state diagram? So I guess there's lots of dialects of diagrams. Diagram elects. Um, okay. Hello? So is this using an AI model? Okay, let's. A shot. Hmm. Okay, let's do it. All right. Hmm. I'm getting my own opportunity to invent Dropbox. Let's build it as a BitTorrent-like, blockchain-like, decentralized 
easy to run a node. P to P file storage network. Because there, I feel like there's files. <coughs> maybe there's three kind of files. Or all right, so you've got basically video files. And what is a video file? It is tons of noise, to be honest. It's like there's a signal of whatever the video is, whatever's going on, and then tons of um, sort of irrelevant noise, if you think about it. Like, if you think about the plot points and stuff, you think about a script, right? Now, obviously, a lot more... There's like a script to say, but like less than a megabyte for a script for the movie. Maybe it, maybe a script is a megabyte. And then, so you get a men, megabyte of signal. And then say, if you add in some type of artistry, like, you know, like line drawings of each scene Maybe you get up a cup, cup, a cup up to a couple megabytes, but basically a movie audio is annoying because audio, well, it's annoying if you don't have good audio. You really need say like a megabyte per minute. I feel like for a good audio. Um, so that's if it's a two-hour movie, that's. That's, what is that, 120 megs of audio, and then say 20, 20 megs of dialogue and video, I don't know. 100 megs for a movie, that means in a crappy quality movie file of say 600 megs, it's 500 megs of noise. So what about if you designed a Dropbox that just stores signal? So potentially when you replay these movies, You've got maybe a, it's like kind of a new algorithm. You basically train the neural net, given a signal file to generate an embellished version of that video. Um, I don't know how many megabytes that would take, maybe a gig. But then you could store movie files far more compressed. And then you could really do something interesting where it's like, because th th that's like 99% of web traffic and web storage requirements. So if you really compress those, now you can do something pretty revolutionary, Wikipedia and Dropbox. Um, Cause like, you know, I kind of think it's a, like the way we've watched movies and listened to music in the past hundred years, or s say my whole lifetime, past 40 years with these digital files, I kind of feel like it's a fad, like there's nothing there's no reason why we need to do it this way. Why every time I listen to a song, I need to listen to the exact same song. Or every time I watch a movie, it needs to be exactly the same. Like if the colors are different, does that really affect things? Like, of course it would be, a, it's a totally different way of doing things. But you could compress things wildly. And it might be kind of cooler to always hear, it's like going to see live music everything's you know slightly every time you watch something it's slightly different um, but then again there's something nice about watching the same thing over and over again and catching details you didn't didn't get the first time or second or third time <sighs> anyway I think I failed the interview <laughs> but I have had a lot of fun thinking about how to build a better Dropbox um, I like this site. It's a stimulating site. Um, and um, let's take a look at what the, the prices are. I don't think it's for me because, hey, 70 bucks, not bad. It helps you land a, a job and maybe if there's a community behind it, you meet some cool people. Good stuff, code MIA. You, I had some enjoyable thoughts that you led me to. Um, it's a, everything worked. It's a very kind of a complex site, but everything seemed to work. Nice job. All right.
Cheers. Have a great night.